You can see that there is a rain in my game and that'd be cool to add a thunder with a flash effect and also the audio. So let's wait for it. As you could see in the game, there is a white flash effect that appears when the thunder hits with an audio effect and that could make your game even better by adding the vibe to it. Let's check how it's done in the code. It's here on my rain scene, here I generate particles for the rain, but what's important for us, here in the top node, I got the script. And here's where the magic happens. I've got a timer that helps me determine the random time that my thunder will appear. And I simply connected the timer to this code. And here on funk on timer timeout, so after the time that timer should go, in my case it's 5 seconds, I run the function called thunder strike. But to better understand what's going on here, I need to explain a few more things. First is that the rain scene is connected to the camera. And to better show you that, I need to run the game and hit full screen. And you can slowly understand what's going on. Because the rain node is connected to the camera, the rain falls only where our character is currently in. And the same goes with the flash for our thunder. Let's wait for it. You could notice a white box appearing and disappearing from the screen. But how is it done? Let's get back to the rain scene. And here we've got animation player. Let's do this part step by step. So click here on animation, new, and we can call it thunder strike. Here we've got the duration, which will be set to, for example, 0.4. Let's create texture rectangle. We need to make it bigger to fill our whole screen. And we need to go to the inspector of our texture rectangle, add a new gradient texture to D. Let's change it a bit. Okay, that looks fine. And here in the visibility, we will be adding keyframes. Make sure to be on the first possible keyframe, which is zero. Click on modulate and set alpha of this color to zero. Then here on this key icon and create. We need to move on our timeline a bit further to 0.1, change the modulate to the max value, click the key icon to add the keyframe and in my case, we'll go to the last keyframe and again change the modulate alpha to zero and click the key icon. Let's play the animation. You can see that it flashes. So our animation is ready and it's called thunder strike. Let's get back to our script. Here in the function thunder strike with underscore, let's leave the first line for now and focus on those two, which is audio thunder dot play. Audio thunder is audio stream player thunder so when this function gets called the audio gets played and we would like to do the same thing with our animation so the animation play and it's thunder strike nice in this first line we make a random number between 20 and 50 just by adding this line and this next wait time will be used as a new value for our timer. So the time spaces between each and every thunder are totally random. So on every thunder strike, I change the wait time to another number. Otherwise, if we didn't do that, the player could be a little bit annoyed when the thunder would simply strike every, for example, 20 seconds. It could be very repetitive and could make our game less immersive. And we don't want that. And on ready, I do the same thing to set wait time to a random number between 20 and 50. After all of that, let's see the final result by clicking run the project and we have to wait for the thunder. The flash effect is on a whole screen, also with the audio part. And that's it. I hope that this feature will improve your game. Let me know if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for your time and bye for now.